It's taking a bit of time, but Tom is now comfortable in the house. After three visits, three times running away. So it's now the afternoon, right? And they have destroyed the neck curtain. Three cars. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of it. This was, it used to be a shop. Uh, so you've got these steps leading up from the outside there. In fact, let's have a quick look outside. Well, while we're here, let's go over there, I'll pause it. So, there's my car, the famous. Now the barn that you see from the back garden, that was sold, that used to be with the house. Um, and the previous owner sold it. I've been in it, it's massive. What do you have to say for yourself? Hmm? So yeah, it's a bit of a... It needs a bit of tinted, tinted glass. Or something like that. Okay, so... It's a quick tour of upstairs. And take off from where we left off, which was up with that. And also, I wanted to show you the. I think I've got certain fans who like this. That's my langoustine one, my lobster. And that's just um, goes up into the loft, that, that pipe. Something for trig there. That I've left on the wall. <clears throat> for the time being. So all this is going to be eventually, I don't know, it's a bathroom. It's got the old, old electric meter in, which I like. And in fact, that meter was produced the same year I was, 1964. Great year. Philips valve sitting there, just waiting to tube amp into life so I took all the wallpaper off here and you've got lime plaster that barn the roof kind of runs up like this and down there put some light on here so that's the door up to the loft which is impressive actually. Uh, this is bedroom one. <clears throat> and it's kind of like I've put my musical stuff in it for the moment. Disco lights. And um what would that, what would you have to say about all this? I saw the house. We bought it. This is um more hi-fi equipment, really. Uh, this room has been stripped of all the blue wallpaper. I've got my collection of radios on there. Amplifiers, turntables, and really towards the end it got a bit crazy. So I sort of did this move in. I had some help at some times, <clears throat> and the last push really was all hands to the pump. A uh, nice rosace in this room. Nice fireplace, which unfortunately is redundant because they took the chimney off when they did the one half of the roof. But who wants a good burning fire? 
radiators over there in uh, cast iron radiator. So this is got three steps up, and the floor itself is going down to the left. There was a leak in the roof, which has been repaired, but you can still see the plaster on is stained. It's complicated. This is about the kitchen. It's a complicated roof system. Essentially, it's an L, but the short part of the L is a is a triangle, which is where we are now. So I took the plaster off this wall, like a good boy, and spent ages fucking about with it. Basically, when I should have been really moving house, you know, I should have been doing other things, but I was kind of obsessed with it. And I'm going to put on the wall a product called Savon Noir Black Soap so that eventually the stones will look like that. Colour, the colour will jump out. A TV was left here, and as was this TV stand. This window Mingo repaired for me with a bit of an ad hoc temporary fix. And we've got a nice view west. So that's, I'd say, if you went that direction, you would get to New York. That is like southwest, you get New York. Brittany, uh, Brighton, London, Edinburgh, North Pole. Is my neighbour. Now that house is for sale. Here, the house that you saw at the start of the video is for sale. 200,000 to you, cash. Um, so, there's the roof of the barn, which was sold. I've got some dehumidifying crystals at work. A friend of mine said to me recently, when are you going to sell your, your collection? And I said to him, I don't know, well, where do I begin? Where do I begin? This is like, I'm really, I'm just having a bit of rest and recreation. I made this video, I made the video earlier today, and I'm just saying, okay, let's just fucking, I've got a bad knee, I've got a... Well, that's it, I've got a bad knee, basically. My back is good. Thanks to hanging upside down with my gravity boots. It's pretty good. And um, I would recommend gravity boots to anybody. I don't care. Black, white, Chinese, Russian spies. I would say, yeah, gravity boots. Excellent. Don't fuck about going to a chiropractor. Or, you know, you don't want to do any of that. You don't need that. You need grab. Now, where are they actually? I put. I put them up here. Ah, oh, here they are. Yeah. My God, they are. I've been using them for a year. A little over a year. Oh, no, no, where are they? Uh, maybe a year. Maybe this year. I can't remember. It doesn't matter anyway. But what does matter is that I can smell cat shit in this room. So that's not good, right? Some cat has come in here and deposited part of themselves on something electrical. And I, I, if I recommend something musically, it's that I'm going to recommend, uh, not the Beatles, but an artist, Alain his name is, his first name, and the song is called A.M.E. Am 50s, Am 50s, beautiful, brilliant tune, the guy looks a bit like Alan Pross, but don't hold that against him, it's got a killer hook, and, uh, yeah, it's got a killer hook, so, 
that's it basically that mattress was left here and I have kept it for whatever that's an old mattress basically a lot of this these cartons are for when I sell stuff I can wrap you know I wrap stuff in bubble wrap and and then post it off right uh, things in here I'm not really going to sell too much of anyway I know what you're thinking you're thinking how long is this video going to go on for and the answer to that is when the memory stops yes when the memory runs out um, because everything is so amazing and so must see that to stop the video would be 